Uh, I want to uh, bring in our uh, final guest in the program, actually our partner on the uh, webinar that we're producing uh, with them on May 3rd. But joining me on the program now is Megan Urbaniak, Associate VP Business Development at 8th Sunday. Megan, good morning. Good morning. I hope you can hear me okay. I can. Uh, nice Great. to have you here. Appreciate you joining thank us. You. And no, and thank time. you so much for the opportunity. Yeah, and I've got uh, Ron Bachman, my uh, co-host, on here as well. Hey, Megan. How you doing? Hey. Hey, hey, hey Megan. Uh, before we kind of have a dialogue around this, uh, um, you know, webinar and uh, the value prop for brokers, uh, kind of give our audience a backgrounder on yourself and 8 Sunny and a backgrounder on Rob and Insurance Marketing Center and really the contents of what we're going to be talking about on May 3rd. Sure. I am um, – I'm really happy to. So, um let me kind of talk about the webinar and then talk about myself and, and Rob as a, as a background to it. So our upcoming webinar on uh, May 3rd is entitled The Digital Revolution, How Brokers Can Exploit Their Digital Business. And you're going to hear from three industry experts, obviously you uh, and uh, myself and Rob Poli. Um, and Rob Poli is president of the Insurance Marketing Center. Um, I am, as you said earlier, associate vice president of business development over at HSEV. And um, Rob will be speaking really directly to our audience of brokers about the way they're using a benefit marketplace to recruit new agents, streamline day-to-day -day workload, um, using systems reporting to identify sales opportunities, and really lessons learned from a very early adopter in this still ever-changing market. Um, and then there will be a little bit of a back and forth and a really a conversation, I think, between the three of us to discuss the do's and the don'ts of digital business what ongoing trends we've seen, and how to position, um, you know, ourselves for success, no matter what piece of the business you have. Um, I am, um, my, my world, frankly, just as a former broker, and I always kind of put my broker hat on when I talk about technology because I always say to uh, my current clients and my potential clients that I wish I had this kind of platform when I was a broker, some sort of, a technology that helped me, but also gave me a great foothold with my um, employer group clients in the market. Yeah. And I think that, you know, you said something really key that any broker listening uh, today or even listening to the podcast, you know, over the next week, you know, we're not just going to be three talking heads talking. We're going to engage in a conversation that they'll be able to ask us key questions to get engaged with as well, which is a really important takeaway for any broker out there trying to figure out the, you know, the pieces to this puzzle. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And, and I think if you're a broker out there too, I mean, this is a, this is fast moving space. Uh, but somebody said yesterday that we're still at the beginning, and I agree with that. We're still at the you know the beginning. So if you're a broker out there, and you know, you know, maybe you jumped in, but maybe you're kind of rethinking, you know, what benefit marketplace or what can technology really do for practice. I mean, you're going to learn that. You're going to understand that. You're going to learn from an early adopter, Rob. You know, his best and better practices, his mistakes, and what he's done to create success, which he's really created there, you know, leveraging, you know, the, the benefit marketplace and his digital business. And so, I mean, it's an opportunity to come and really listen, learn, participate, get some key questions uh, asked. So, uh, uh, Megan, you know, can you talk a little bit more about what you're going to have Rob uh, talk about uh, and kind of some of the key questions you're going to talk, talk to him about? Sure. Well, Rob and I have been partners in the uh, D.C. metro market for, pro I want to say, five or six years now, um, not only when I was a broker, but now um, in this ongoing conversations about private health care space. And we've had Rob um, join us um, on May 3rd because he really is a leader in the broker community in this um, D.C. metro area. He's really been an advocate for brokers and how they conduct, conduct their business, really from everything from carrier changes to working with D.C. Uh, health marketplace and changes in group markets. And really he knows as an owner of a GA that in order to keep and grow with his brokers, he needs to offer solutions that are being asked for in the market, but not only by the brokers, but also those end user clients. So he's done a lot of legwork and has a really a good insight because he has ongoing conversations with not only brokers who have large books, but small books or specialize in large business and small business. And he brings that very um, unique play, I think, to our conversation. Yeah, I, th I think some interesting insights that, um, 
you'll hear Rob talk about too, saying he's been there and done that, is uh, that em- employers are embracing technology, probably more so than some brokers. And that's what a broker needs to hear that too. Your clients are embracing it. And, and further downstream, you know, the employers, you know, employees, the consumer and, their, you know, the employee and their families are embracing technology. So, you know, yeah. that's an important takeaway that brokers need to take away. I mean, your clients and their employees are embracing the use of technology. Wouldn't you agree, Megan? I, I think that is almost, if, if they're asking for it, maybe we're not even so embracing it. I think they're looking for some assistance on how to embrace it. Um, but I believe they're asking for it. They want it. They hear all these buzzwords in the industry, especially from the employer groups. They hear these words exchange. And a small employer group with 35 lives say, I want an exchange. But they don't know what that means, really. But they do know that they need some sort of technology and to help their lives be easier. Maybe they've adopted some um, automated payroll systems. They've adopted some other automation processes in their hiring and employee management, and you're right, they are starting to embrace more and more and now are demanding, I think, of their broker to say, hey, where are you in this piece? I don't want to go to some other platform where I don't have you, my trusted advisor, but let's, you know, where's your technology? Yeah, when you look at the brokers and, you you know, you are one, and uh, <laughs> but when, when you look at the many brokers out there that you talk to and others that we, you know, we want to embrace and talk to in this webinar, Um, What do you consider to be the biggest missed opportunity by brokers right now in the business space, and and what are they just not exploiting enough of? You know, I think what they're not exploiting enough of is the multi-products that can be offered. Um, Some of the best brokers are still lazy. Uh, As a former manager of managing independent field reps, uh, you found that people said, yep, I got the sale. And he said, Where, where's your demo? Where's your vision? Where's your LTD, your STD, your work site? Having, that, having a system that makes it easy for them makes it excuse-free, and you have to, as a broker, be embracing and expanding your fence, frankly, around your client to be offering all those products to keep your lights on. Who knows what's going to happen with medical commissions? Let's, look what the, you all were just talking about, the volatility in uh, the individual markets, United Healthcare pulling out. Yep. What happens tomorrow with small group? We don't know. So you have to use this as an opportunity to exploit and add more lines and be your that trusted advisor for everything to your client, or they're going to go elsewhere. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. And I think, the, again, <clears throat> coming back to the employer perspective, the employers, as they move to more consumerism programs, you know, an HSA, high deductible, and well-rounded programs, they're actually driving demand for a more, well, a more well-rounded you know, benefit portfolio, and and I so I think that there's a client driver here too that brokers need to understand. And sure. if they don't serve that, they're going to clients are going to go you know somewhere else. And I think that the income opportunity, to your point, with exchanges is is a very real. I mean, the opportunity to have in one marketplace all of these different you know solutions for your client and their employees you know to choose from can really enhance you know that that broker's practice. Yep, and, all, and like that word that you use, solution. These, uh, these employers have their hands tied with increasing premiums, increasing out-of-pocket maxes, increasing deductibles, where they're forced to, as you said, come together with some sort of um, strategy, whether it's an HSA or an HRA. But oftentimes the employee who's at the pharmacy or at the emergency room with their kid is stuck paying a lot of that bill now. And so for the broker to say, hey, listen, we can come up with a package and a solution that helps you as the employer not be sticking it to your employees with some of those work sites and with some of the flex spending options to make it really that solution. Megan, um, give our audience, uh, give our listeners uh, really three quick takeaways that brokers should anticipate from, you know, coming and joining us in this webinar on May 3rd. Sure, and and I hope they do because it really will be a great session. I think, again, having that conversation will enable brokers to be able to walk away from the webinar with really a better understanding of the different ways that you can use marketplaces to exploit that digital business, as as we've discussed. So really including a plan of attack, um, what kind of communication you need to be rolling out, not only with your brokers and your field force, but also with that end user client. And how do the clients get their employees to, um, to be engaged? And then really it's obviously the training. 
um, because the platform could be have all these bells and whistles and be the greatest thing, but if there's not training on how brokers can use it and embrace it, then, you know, you're kind of at a dead end. Yeah. Well, thank you, Megan. And, and to our audience out there, our listeners, um, this is a free webinar. I want to remind you of that. You can you can register at our website, theihcc.com. It is May 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, we hope you do join us. I think you'll find some really valuable takeaways to Megan's point in this discussion today. So, uh, again, uh, go to the IHCC website. You know, click on the front page on the, the webinar link and go and register uh, today, and we hope uh, to see you there. Megan, uh, thank you for spending the time with us today. It was a great discussion, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you the first of the week. Great. Thanks for including us.